Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yoshiman. Last time we did the introduction of this game, we also did some duels, lost uh, one duel against uh, Mokuba, but I actually at the end I uh, actually uh, beat him. Also did uh, two duels against Thea, and this time, well, uh, I'm actually going to duel uh, one more guy or girl, and it's gonna be a guy, it's actually little Yugi. Hi, I'm Yugi Moto. Do you do? Duel? You do? That's perfect, we shall duel. Ooh, he's actually quite tough though. So, I wouldn't be surprised if I get my ass kicked in this duel. But hopefully I can win against him, because that will be so nice. But yeah, let's give it a shot. I'm all, always up for a challenge. And this hand uh, is quite decent. Not gonna lie, it's decent. And I will completely go aggressive. Maybe it's not that smart, but I don't know. Maybe it will scare him off. He doesn't have uh, very uh, powerful spells. Okay, he might have uh, some good traps. That's gonna be quite an issue. Okay, that's actually... It's uh, actually kind of a strong card. Uh, at this... I mean, in this stage of this game. Select one card randomly from your opponent, remove it face down, keep it for uh, out of play for 3 turns, uh, during your opponent's uh, forward standby phase, the card is returned. So yeah, we have actually to wait. Um, I don't know if it's viable uh, now. I don't think it's viable at all because it's a trap card and trap cards are slow. So I wouldn't really recommend to run it. And this meta game is also quite slow. So it's not really a viable card as well. There are much better hand destruction cards. Uh, I will poke him with some damage. That was a beaver warrior. That beaver warrior is no match to my uh, Baron. Oh yeah, some crackling noises. <laughs> That's my favorite. Um, there goes my Oscular hero. Number it's actually number two. I actually forgot to mention that. <laughs> oh my god. But that's okay. Potato, potato. As they say. Ooh, this can be a little bit uh, cheeky. I will set this card because uh, I don't know. It's a really high risk, high reward uh, kind of uh, cards. Rope of Life. It uh, lets you, when your monster is destroyed, it's sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, so this is a bit of restriction, which I don't like. Discard your entire hand, yeah, that's all something I also don't like. But you have to at least one card in your hand in order to resolve the effect, so otherwise it doesn't work. You cannot uh, play this if you don't have uh, any cards in your hand. So you can actually then special summon the monster in attack modes. Or no, actually special summon it uh, regardless of position and increasing its attack by 800. That's actually a good uh, upside. But yeah, it's a really uh, risky play. I uh, I actually faced that card uh, during a tournament when I was younger. Somebody actually played that. I was like, you know, blown away <laughs> because of the effect. That 800 really puts an edge on the cards. But it's a really risk, risky uh, card. I mean, I can use that in my deck because my deck is a bit shite. I don't think I'm going to uh, activate this a Robe of Life. I don't think it's going to be worth it, to be honest. I'm only going to play it if uh, shit sits a fan. Okay, that's my third turn, so I have to wait one more turn. I will attack with my Baron of the Fiend sword, but he has actually a different sword. And yeah, this card. It's gonna be quite annoying to deal with. You can actually select one monster that uh, uh, as long as this remains face up. The selected monster cannot attack or change its battle position. When this the selected monster is destroyed, destroy this card. Okay. But I can tribute it. And then this card will stay on the field. So I don't know. Semantics. So I'm gonna draw cards. 
And I'll get my uh, monster back. Hopefully the, his back row isn't nasty. Like a trap hole. But I don't think he has something like that. And I will set Magic Drain, because that's actually a good card. Uh, you can actually, you know, negate his uh, uh, spell cards. But your opponent can negate that, uh, uh, that trap card by discarding one spell cards. Otherwise it's worth all that uh, effect. And it's a counter trap, so that's very nice. Counter traps are really fair. You know, you cannot uh, chain anything, or you know, except for a counter trap. Uh, I think I'm gonna attack. I don't want to put myself or overextend too much. Maybe I should overextend, to be honest. Yeah, that might be the better play. But I'm gonna do something cheeky and set this. Hopefully he will uh, use Sword of Reveal Knight, so uh, he tends to uh, draw uh, Sword of Reveal Knight and he draws nothing, which is quite good, so I can attack with my beaters. I don't think Magical Hat uh, would, cannot be activated, because he doesn't have any monsters, and otherwise he would have activated uh, when I destroyed that Gothic Guardian. So we're actually winning against Yugi Muto. That's very bueno. It's gonna be so good. Uh, what's he's going to draw? Okay, he sets a monster. Uh, can I? S I can actually use stop defense. If it's a, if it's something, I don't know. Let's check it out. Stop defense. Use it on this, and it's a Sengen. I don't think Sengen can save him unless he has his, unless his back row uh, can save him. Otherwise, he's a he's toast. By my uh, flame Cerberus, scatter into ashes, uh, Yugi Muto. Oh wait, we already won. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention with the life points. And was it exactly uh, zero? Yes, it was exactly zero life point bonus. That's actually very nice. And now I'm going to do one more duel until I uh, can buy a pack. I want to buy a pack here. Uh, some packs. When I level. So you can get also again a bonus points. And this is Bakura. Bakura is very annoying to deal with. I'm Bakura. I have a deck too. I think it will be smashing if we duel. Well, smashing. Okay. I'm not a particular guy for, you know, smashing, but... But at least I can, you know, wipe you out with my monsters. And it's getting darker. So yeah. You also have a day and night cycle. In the game. So what he does is actually... His deck consists about, you know, zombies and, uh, you know, basically the, these uh, normal, uh, these uh, normal uh, zombie monsters. Yeah, I said normie. Well, they are normies, but it's more like, you know, quite annoying deck. He can actually have tough monsters, though, like, you know, like tough level five or six monsters. And he plays the Portrait Secret, which is not a zombie. That's alright, I guess. Half like Skull Dice. Um, not really too worried. I can wall myself off. I can also take a chance to activate Skull Dice. Come on, not please not one. Okay, that's a five. Skull Dice, uh, you can actually decrease the attack of all monsters depending on the number of uh, the roll. So they lose 500 attack. So it's 5 times 100. Basic mathematics. 
Um, I'm gonna attack with my Horn Imp. Because it's one, uh, one attack for stronger than that. Than the Portrait Secret. So I'm doing decent. I can wall myself off with uh, the Prevent Red. Because 2 dozen defense is it's really tough for Bukura to crack. Any this is armored zombie. Uh, I'm I'm gonna negate that attack. Maybe at my next turn I will I can do something. Is this a dark monster? Oh yes, I can. Oh my god, I can get over the uh, armored zombie. That's very nice. So I will attack with my horn imp. <laughs> Getting horny right here, oh yeah. Not really, but <laughs> it's actually literally. So don't take that. Uh, no, it's not. It's not suggestive. Okay, stop, audience, please. So I will end my turn. Uh, let's see. Bakura hasn't drawn to his engine yet, or his uh, playmakers. Oh, Ball of Greed. That's a very nice card. It allows you to draw two cards, which is broken. Because you automatically automatically go plus one and you draw cards, you can actually go through your deck and you know it's, adds a lot of consistency into your deck. And he, he's doing a, quite a risky play that I wouldn't do in this position. Ectoplasm, you have to uh, tribute uh, one, a monster each turn, which is something you don't want to do if you're behind. Unless you're, he's planning into a uh, comeback uh, strategy, which can happen. So, but, but the monsters have to be phased up. So, as long as he doesn't attack into my other prevent threat, uh, I'm actually good. As long as it's uh, phased down. And Hinotama will actually be get a use out of it. So, I'll attribute my prevent threat some minimal damage. But I'll I'm right to keep my uh beat thing on the field. And he's gonna take my pre other prevent threats. That's okay, I think. And he has been he is forced to actually you know attribute the uh pyramid turtle. So I'm so Pyramid Turtle can be dangerous if you destroy him in battle because it allows you, uh, him to special summon one monster, uh, zombie type monster with uh, 2000 defense or less from his uh, his deck. So yeah, it can be a level uh, 6 uh, beat stake on the field. And that's not what, uh, what you like to see. So I'm gonna use Hinotama. I'm gonna attack with my monsters. I think that's enough, yeah. Or Hinotama, I don't know how you pronounce it. Hinotama, Hinotama, who knows? It's not a really, it's not a good card, but it comes in clutch in this situation. And I actually beat B Bakura, which is excellent. I have so much trouble when I was starting this game against him. It first played me a lot of times at the beginning. But yeah, he kind of breaks with his deck. So that's uh, actually good for us because we win. And we have a lot of uh, KC points. So what I'm actually going to do is actually, uh, you know, go to the shop. Yugi is the most impressive dual link, such powerful foes like you. Yeah, but I've beaten Yugi. So I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm going to go to the game store. Buy myself some packs. Yep. Exchange my KC points. Um, I'm gonna uh, get one of these. I haven't. I'm going to do this some some random schmanzum schmanzum uh, order. I got just desserts and Reaper of the cards. Are rare. Uh, this uh, like 500 points here. The damage for each monster. Million opponent side of the field. That can be very deadly. It, uh, it's actually used in some uh, some burn decks. And these 
are this is shite, this is too specific, yeah, sp specific, and this is uh, yeah, not so good. You have to try with one monster to actually get this on the field, and these stats are horrible. But it's such a badass card. Let's, I will give that. And yeah, this one has a good defense, so I'm quite happy. Next one is uh, the mechanical trap power. I'm gonna do some random order. Till I get uh, more percentage. Dark Artist, yeah, the most uh, broken car of the game. And speaking of broken cars, we got ourselves Grateful Charity. Oh, baby. That's a very good car. You can draw three cards from your deck and then discard two cards from your hand. Very broken. It's, it's not a plus one, but it can be turned into a plus one if you know how to, how to you know, handle your deck. Or uh, whether your deck is built on. Very broken. And that's all. That's also consistency. And this is Shadow Ghoul. Also very nice. Increase the attack of this monster by 100 for for each monster in your graveyard. Well, this is some sort of a late game option. I'm not a really big fan of that card, but it's well, but it's nice, I guess. Well, personally, not my uh, cup of tea. Let's open another pack till we have nothing. X Raider, a good attacker. Kojikosi, a lot of beat sticks. Also nice, I can use some. Yeah, first you have to get some beat sticks and then, and then improve your deck later on. Little Chimera. Or the pure uh, fire type monsters. And we have Pot of Greed! Oh my god! We're rolling into the consistency. It allows you to draw two cards. But yeah, what does it mean? Uh, let's uh, pick this one again. I think uh, we're, we're having some great pulls already. <laughs> I'm actually a happy man. Rolling Dragon, really cool. And we have Time Machine. What does it do? When you, as a result battle, you can return a special summon. Uh, the same bell position. So it's basically a rope for life without the discard cost, but it doesn't gain you 800 life, uh, it doesn't eight, gain 800 attack, and uh, you cannot choose the bell position. So, uh, I don't know, can be useful. I think uh, the, the, the discard your hand part is uh, it's a bit too steep uh, for my liking. And there's Karibo, that's actually the first hand trap of the game. You can discard this card for your hand, make the battle damage uh, afflicted uh, to your life points by one of your opponents more to zero. That's actually very nice. But it doesn't, uh, it's only your life points you're protecting, uh, not the monster itself. So at least your life points are safe, and your opponent doesn't expect uh, the Karibo. So this is the last pack, Komori Dragon, and there's the Mystical Elf, a really good defender. So yeah, that was actually quite good. Uh, so I'm actually going to, you know, head home and edit some decks. You can also, uh, you know, push the home button to get uh, go to the home directly. So yeah, I'll be right back, editing my deck. So uh, this is actually my deck, uh, I've actually done a lot of changes, I actually put some stronger spell cards in the deck. I also kept the uh, Rope of Life because it seems like it's still a good card, uh, all things considered. We we'll also add the time machine as well, so uh, so I can reborn my uh, powerful monsters. So I drop uh, a lot of things, including the Horn M. Although I don't have a lot of dark monsters, I still play this. I don't know, I think I have enough dark monsters to utilize it. It's not many, it's only like four, it's like ugh. But it's the best I, we can get, and I think uh, we need, kinda need, need this uh, little push. But also, um, 
Yeah, I also added these older cards and like, you know, these two babies, oh my god. There's a lot of, at least some consistency with, uh, with our deck. So yeah, uh, we're going to save this uh, deck, to save this recipe. And yeah, there we have it. So let's hop on to the, uh, le the door leading outside and do some more duels. Let's see, who, where do we you find one? It's Joey! Oh my god, it's Joey Jojo. I'm Joey, the duelist no one wants to face. Yeah, that's right. No, not um, because I'm annoying. Sure you are, because I'm the du toughest duelist out there. Yeah, that's rely on luck, you know. Joey is very annoying to deal with. He has all this look based cards and it's so annoying in the beginning. He relies his deck just on pure chance. And it really works too though. So we're, we're going it's gonna be a rough time, I can tell. And we have this one, yeah, he can actually roll dice and there's gonna be a Rana effect uh, popping up. Really, really not nice. Uh, I'm actually not going to set uh, the Rope of Life. Maybe I should, but I don't know. I don't want to take too many risks. Uh, four, what does that do? Okay, it allows me to draw a card. At least uh, uh, RNG is generous uh, today. Well, I have to find out though, because it's early in the duel. I'm not going to get my... Uh, High hopes. And this is also another back row. He also rolled this. Yes, this kind of a dice roll uh, deck. Uh, I'm actually. No, I'm not going to set uh, Ninja just yet. Maybe I should play defensively. I think that might. It's gonna work out more than playing it aggressively. Maybe it will. Because I definitely am, am sure that it's gonna be a skull dice and I'm gonna be fucked in the butt. And there's a time wizard, yeah, figures. Hopefully it will destroy his own monsters? Ah! Fuck. I hate time wizard. But if he destroys his own monster, he gets damage. If he calls us wrong. But yeah, Time Wizard, not my favorite. <laughs> not the favorite card I want to see. <laughs> yeah, he's kicking our ass. Because RNG bitches. Mm. That's the uh, life of Joey. Joey Jojo. Um, how was... And I don't think it's beneficial for me to play a rope of life. Let's be let's be perfectly uh, real right there. Because there are so many destruction cards he has. And now I don't want to lose my resources to. Um, on the second thought, ah, I'm in this kind of pickle. Yeah, let's do it. I'm a bit of a rush. Maybe it's not gonna be a good idea. If I have a second time machine, uh, it will be viable. Okay, skull dice. Okay. But uh, Rocket Warrior is not destroyed technically. It only. Uh, it's actually invisible. But no way, uh, yeah. But it reduces my. The, my. Uh, my X Raider set like by by 500. So uh, should I play it or should I not? You know what? I'm not going to rush into something like that. I think it will be very stupid if I play it uh, right off the get go. Until I'm really desperate. If Neo gets the sword, then I will definitely play that. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it will be pretty stupid. So I'm holding off on. It should be a bit like uh, if uh, if you're really in a desperate situation, then you should activate it. But as of right now, not it's not really worth it. And yeah, this is Garusus. He can get over my my card. 
I can activate Grave Robber, but uh, maybe I'm not going to activate it uh, that quickly. But I'm thinking about, you know, playing boss to the walls and activate uh, Rope of Life. Because there's no other way, <laughs> I think. Might be idiotic to throw away three cards, but uh, it has to be done. It's it. Grave is also nice because you can actually, you know, grab a spell card in his graveyard, but he doesn't have really good uh, spell cards, so I'm not I'm not bothered to get one of the his uh, spell cards. And he will take 2,000 damage too, so eh, it's not worth it. I'm not going to rely on luck uh, to actually win. I'm using my soul. And the heart of the cards. More like heart of the heart of the farts. I will attack with my new because he's done with 2500 attacker because of rope of life. So it's really hard to get over it. If I have a if I only had a seven tools of the bandits, that would be very great uh, addition to my deck. Um not gonna attribute it. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. Ooh, that's a baby dragon. So cute. Yeah, I sh If I actually draw a monster, that will be very cool. A level 4 one. I also dro dropped the slot machine for obvious reasons because it's level 7 and it has poor stats. So I'm not a big fan of, you know, uh, or stats uh, tribute monsters. And there goes the X-Raider. Oh my god, I've destroyed so many cards with Neo the Magic Swordsman. You cannot get over it, you cannot beat the Neo. Yeah, they, these duels are a bit longer, though. It's actually quite a slow format. And there's this f fucking annoying card. If he rolls a 3, I'm actually pooped. ATTACK! There's another baby dragon. But at least I have more chance to draw into my uh, level 4 monsters since I only draw a lot of spell and traps. I still have to draw with Graceful Charity and Pot of Greed, so... Hmm. It's not gonna be in a desperate situation. And if he rolls a 6, he can roll again. Oh my god, he rolls a 3, so the middle one gets destroyed. So if you don't know, no, no, uh, he, every stamina phase he can roll a dice. If he rolls a 1, he can destroy this uh, se uh, section of this, um, this uh, field if there's a monster. This, this, and yada yada yada. This is two, this is three, this is four. Yeah, you know the deal. And I still ha have failed to draw a level four monster. And that's not really good. And he has a huge back row. Oh my god, I wish I had a Jinzo. That would be so cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna attack because I have to bait out everything. Yeah, it's the only way. Just attack. Yeah, he, he's gonna roll a tree again. Let's face it. No, two. Okay. So nothing happens. And I think uh, he's gonna not attack. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should tribute. Well, I think it's wise to do this right now. Okay, he has a decent stance now because there's a lot of monsters in my graveyard. Um, gonna attack. He doesn't have any trap that counter this thing. So that's actually good. But uh, yeah, except the uh, needle wall. If he rolls a 3, then he's dead as well. But at least I destroyed one of his, so I don't know. 
because I'm, I don't trust, uh, you know, attacking with my bar Baron into his uh, uh, alligator sword. Because uh, he, I'm, I'm fairly sure he has uh, some uh, other cards uh, that he can count with. I'm actually going to attack, so he's uh, actually in a danger zone right there. Should I actually set the uh, skull dice? That will be ah, uh, that will be a bit risky. But yeah, no, he has to roll a three or four to destroy a mon monster. For my uh, prevent threat is destroyed, uh, to aid my shadow ghoul is destroyed, and he also has to roll has another roll. And it's a 4 half. I can draw one card again, nice. And let's share the pain, one of my early game favorite types of car uh, spa cards. I don't know. It's not a good card by any means, but it's... I don't know. You can do a lot of, you know, generate shit with it. If you're casual. And there we have it. That's actually a long duel. <laughs> Seriously, Joey is quite a... He's quite annoying. Um, I don't think we can cram one more in in this uh, episode. So on that note, uh, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment, like, subscribe and do all this good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye!